everyone. So today I thought I would um, make what I talked about in uh, one of my last video, the top of the bottle on the bottom of the bottle. And yeah, but before that I thought I would uh, talk about color theory. Many of you uh, would like to hear about it and so I thought I would do that today. And I also have my colors mixed for the painting, but we'll come to that after I talk about this, the color theory. Um, what the color scheme I'm using today is a split complementary. I'll show you uh, what that means. And I've mixed my paints uh, pretty much the usual way. I used high flow acrylics and fluid acrylics. Uh, those are all golden acrylics paint. Uh, this is quinacridone magenta mixed with a bit of naphthol red. And this is phthalo green yellow shade, zinc white, and naphthol red mixed with pyrrole orange. And yeah, I mixed them to be, well, I started one part acrylic, uh, the pyrrole orange, to 10 part medium, and then I added a bit of naphthol red to have a nice red orange. And for the fluid acrylic, I did 30% fluid acrylic to 70% medium. They are so heavily pigmented that I can uh, stretch them a lot with medium, plus uh, the price of them. <laughs> uh, the medium costs less, so I stretch them as much as I can. And uh, since they're so heavily pigmented, I can stretch them a lot with the medium. Uh, the medium won't make them lose binding power, and uh, that's fine. Uh, so, also added water in the three colors, a uh, little bit, not much, maybe 10, 15% at most, uh, just to help them sell up because water, as you know, has a lighter density than paint, and all those colors here have a lighter density than the zinc white. And with the water, they are even lighter, so it should help them sell up if I get cells with this technique. I'm not sure, we'll see. <laughs> uh, it's the first time I try this, and so uh, not sure what will happen. So I'll zoom you in, and we'll talk about color theory a bit. All right, so we have our color wheel here. We all know the color wheel, the primary color, yellow, red, and blue. And then we have the secondary color that are violet, green, and orange. And then the tertiary color that are between here, the blue violet, the red violet, the, red, the orange, the yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, and so. And all those lines here. And what are those lines? Where, well, it's kind of easy. It's uh, all the color scheme that can be made. And so you have a first easiest color scheme, complementary color. It's uh, two colors that face each other in the color wheel. And this can move everywhere as long as the two colors faces each other. So it can be red and green, orange and blue, it can be yellow and violet. It can be the red violet to the yellow green. And as long as the colors face each other, that's good. That's the complementary color, color scheme. Now we have analogous. That's three colors that are next to each other. And that's the sign. It can move all around the color wheel as long as the three colors are next to each other. So yellow, yellow green, and green uh, could be red, red orange, and orange. It could be any of those colors as long as it's three colors that are next to each other. And then we have the triadic. That's the triangle. 
And that triangle can also move around, and it's pretty much the same. The triangle uh, can move to have other colors, um, it's just same as the other one. It's uh, color harmony, and the colors uh, at the end of each point should look nice together. And here we have what I'm doing today, the split complementary. Uh, they call it split complementary because, as you can see, here and here is com complementary colors. But they go just beside and pick the two colors beside the complementary. So today I'm doing green, red, orange, and red, violet. And that's what I'm doing today. And that's the actual <laughs> color scheme I picked. And that also can move all around the color wheel. Like you can pick blue. Well, that in this case it's blue violet. It's kind of hard to see the difference of the colors, but yeah. Blue violet, yellow, and orange, uh, yeah, that's it. And finally you have the tetradic, not finally because there's another one. Tetradic, tetradic, and that's a rectangle. The trick to that rectangle is two actual complementary colors. It's that easy. It can also move all around the color wheel and it's as long as you have uh, like two complementary color facing each other, it works. Same with the tetradic square. It's It works the same way as the rectangle, green and red complementary colors, and you can turn it all around the color wheel. And you have the monochromatic that is quite easy. It's uh, one color it only and you can add white or black in it but you keep just one color so that's about that really uh, you just have to remember the squares the, the shape and you can twist them all around the color wheel and have color harmonies that's what those are and that's how I usually pick my colors to have nice colors and have colors that match together and are pretty together and yeah. So that's about it really. Um, let's get to painting shall we? So what I wanted to do today is uh, this, the bottle bottom and the bottle top. So for my bottom well, for my top to remain filled while well, I fill it up, I'll place uh, just this bit of cardboard and then I will and let the bottle empty itself on the bottom. So hopefully that goes well. We'll see uh, what happens with that. And yeah, I noted all my densities here because I mixed some of them and so going to be a, a bit tricky, but the quinacridone magenta and the quinacridone, well, the pyrrole orange mixed with naphthol red, quinacridone magenta should go in first, it's the lightest. Ooh, that looks like, that looked like a lamp, hmm. And then the spiral orange mixed with the naphthol red should go in second. And the phthalo green yellow shade is the is heavier than the, the quinacridone magenta is heavier in density than the naphthol red and the spiral orange. It's heavier than all, so but not, not by much, but it is. So let's put them in just before the white. Lastly, 
This ain't quite. It sinks right in, but I tried to put it towards the edges because uh, when I looked <laughs> and edited my videos, uh, I did a slow mo of the bottle emptying itself, and the middle goes in first. So if I put the zinc wipe towards the edges, it should go out last, and that's what I want. So big moment let's lift the well not lift the bottle but remove the is it stuck yeah okay That was the lump and the uh, violet. Here we go, that looks nice. And now, while I cover my sides, they look pretty much covered, but I'll give you a time lapse in case it changes. Alright, so it's very pretty, I'm very happy with it, uh, not much cells, uh, and I'm kind of sad that I had to tilt it to uh, cover the whole canvas because the pattern when it came out was very, very nice. We still have a bit of it, you, you can see here, here, and here all twisted and moving, it's like it's, phew. yes, sound effect. It's uh, sliding that way. Uh, here, I had to pick up the lump, but it made some smooth effects, and I really like it. Love the lines here, like superposed paint. Um, I really wonder how that will dry. If we will still see the the um, different layers in there. Uh, it's here. It's very, very smooth as well, like the between the green and the magenta. It's uh, very, very smooth. The demarcation is nice. A bit of orange popping through here and there. Really nice. The cells just in the white, as usual. The white got mixed with the other colors with the action of the bottom of the bottle and uh, I think that's why I didn't get much cells. Uh, still a bit of white in the middle and I'm quite okay with that. I think it uh, looks nice and I think that the pattern in the magenta, like the lines, are very cool. Um, this uh, color harmony this is very nice. It's uh, it resembles um, my last uh, oval painting. It's very close from that one, but um, what I also forgot to mention is when you uh, go with the color harmony, you can go with the darker or paler colors uh, of that color in the 
or color wheel. So if you want to go with a dark green instead of a, a bright green, that can also work. If you want to go with the darker uh, red purple, that can also work. Red violet, sorry. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll have to revisit that. But I think uh, today was uh, enough enough talk. <laughs> uh, I talked uh, quite a bit about it, and I think uh, we've got the bases covered. And really like this painting. I think it's uh, quite special. Really, the edges here is really nice. And I like that I have only a couple cells, but just in the middle. But around it's like very uh it's moving a lot love the movement love the colors and that's what's important with the fluid painting all right so if you have any questions on the color theory that i presented the color harmonies and all that stuff you can ask them in the comments i'll be more than happy to uh, reply to you um, also, uh, if you like this painting, give it a like. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Um, I quite like it. Love the movement in it. Love the color combination. I think it was on point. Can't wait to see how it will dry. Can't wait to see if uh, I will keep uh, seeing the layer once uh, it dries. And uh, I think it's a very cool painting. Um, other than that, uh, I think I've talked enough today. <laughs> uh, like I said, any questions in the comments, I uh, will be happy to reply. And uh, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!